Levon Helm Studios, this wonderful house of music that Mr. Helm built. Yeah, hallowed halls here. It's pretty cool. You know, during the band days, Levon always wanted to bring everybody here. And uh, man, I just want to do shows out of my house. Especially since the 90s, it's been almost a temple of great music. The show wasn't going on on a Saturday night. He said it was like being at a funeral, you know, with, with the mics off. So he just wanted that party at his house every weekend. I think the town's really proud of this and what he created here. And he built this with the stone and the wood for music and to continue music on in here. The weight band is almost like a, um, a perfect um, segue from the original band, and I think nobody could carry on the spirit and the, um, the authenticity of the original band, as well as these guys. That's what we're trying to do, is continue on that feel, that, that Woodstock sound, which really was developed right here, you know, in Woodstock. We had been very good friends with Bob Dylan in his earliest days in New York in the early 60s. When the band moved to Woodstock full time, we met them all at Bob's house. I went and saw the band since I was in 69 at Woodstock, then Watkins Glen. I wanted to see the band mostly and, and some of the Allman Brothers, but really went to see the band, you know. It's kind of a blur, but I was there. <laughs> I got a call from Artie Trom. Artie said, well, Levon needs a, uh, a guitar player. So I started playing with Levon, and then, then I did some shows with Levon, Rick, and just me, Levon, and Rick. That was around 1985. And then uh, Levon said, well, let's come on down and sit in with us. We're going on the road with Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I said, OK. So I went down and played. That was the first time I played with all of them, with Richard and Rick and Garth. And then Levon called me up and said, come on out. we got to go back to five people. So. That's when I started in 15 years, not bus rides, <laughs> many bus rides. I got involved with the weight band because I truly believed that this was the band that Levon would handpick to carry on the legacy of the band. They were one of the first ones that did, fused all that kind of music into a, you know, kind of a new sound. Uh, they weren't so much based on like guitar solos, exactly. extended guitar solos or extended jams or whatever. Exactly. But, you know, true to form, true to the song. Yeah, I guess Americana is what they're calling it these days. It's, it's roots rock and roll. So we're, we're starting to get a, a flow together, writing together, which is we, we wrote a, quite a few tunes for this record. Um, some got used and some might still get used. And Never Too Old really started with um, Stan Celeste. We ended up writing it together with Levon. Levon put some funny lyrics in it, too. Jim Weider gave me a, a demo of it that they had done way back when. And I listened to it, and I liked it, but I felt like I had to update it a little bit. And so Brian rewrote some lyrics, and um, it came out really cool. Your hair turns silver, your teeth turn gold. Come on, get up and get out of control. You're never too old to rock and roll. If I learned anything from uh, working with such great talents is to play 110%. World Gone Mad is something I had in my head for uh, about a year. The whole political atmosphere and, and I just had that title in my head so I just kept singing it and singing it till I finally got the melody. And then I, I hooked up with my uh, good songwriting buddy that I wrote Remedy with and many tunes for the, for the band. Colin Linden, and um, he helped me finish it off. Screaming in a holler like chimpanzees, fighting one another on my TV. And there you go. Watch CNN right now, and you're going to see it. Screaming in a holler like a chimpanzee. Fighting one another on my TV. Living in a I'm 
really proud of the weight band, I, I, I can say that. I mean, I'm really lucky to be playing with such great musicians like Brian Mitchell and, and Marty Grab and, uh, you know, Albert on bass. Uh, Albert Rogers, a fantastic singer, and now we got Michael Bram on drums and vocals. The band songs were great. We're hoping that what we're doing will kind of just follow right along with that musical legacy, like it'll just fit right in, and I, and I think they do. So I'm excited about the band and the new music, and uh, we're hopefully going to bring it out to a lot of people.